Once they knew the route, the colonials had to let their riders know so they could warn the countryside. A plan had been set up earlier. Lanterns would be placed in the steeple of the Old North Church. One lantern if the soldiers were going to Concord by land. Two lanterns if they were going by sea. So Paul Revere went to Robert Newman, the caretaker of the Old North Church, to set the plan in motion. The night of the 18th, when I had asked him to put up the signals, I told him there would be two. He left his home down the street, came to the front door of that church with a friend, Robert Pulling. Together, they unlocked the front door of that church using the only key in existence. Newman slipped inside. Pulling locked him in. Newman made his way to the top of the steeple and from a hiding place drew two glass lanterns, lit first one and then the other. He held them up to the window for a few minutes. And in his mind's eye, he could see the men of Charlestown stopping their work at dusk to look to the steeple to see if there's a signal this night. When they saw it, they left their work behind and rode out across Charlestown Neck to warn the countryside. 